So let's talk about the in keyword. This is something that uh, you're going to use quite a lot. Uh, you've already seen it with lists, right? You want to check membership in a list, you use in. You can do the same thing with, uh, with strings. And let's just notice, notice this really quick. So string gets, um, hey, I'm a string. And I'll go ahead and escape out that right there. And let's just get a sublist from the string. So sublist, uh, sorry, substring is going to get string sub zero, let's say to four, uh, let's say to five. And uh, we can check for the membership. Well, let's print the substring first. And then let's check for membership of that substring in the string. Naturally, this is going to be in there. Uh, it's not going to be any surprise that this is in there. Um, you know, so there's our substring, hey, I, and of course, hey, I is in there. Now, let's be a little bit more explicit about this. Um, you know, you want to be kind of careful with how you approach this. So I, I'm a string. Sorry, let's say I'm. Let's do that. So this we expect to see in that string. And sure enough, we will. Um, is I'm in the string? It is. Hey, uh, sorry, we don't need that substring anymore. Um, so it's evaluating to true. That makes sense. Now, if I lowercase this, maybe this goes without saying, but uh, it's going to be false because it's, it's not in there. Uh, the, char the lowercase i is a different character from uppercase i. So we can get around this sort of issue using dot lower, and I'll give a, uh, a more complete example of this in just a second. So if I run this now, we get true, because this string is lowercased, everything in it is lowercased, and I'm exists in there. So I'm going to give you a quick example of something. Uh, so here I just have all the uh, lowercase alpha characters and then the numeric characters 0 through 9. Um, I'm going to strip a paragraph of, of its non-alphanumeric characters. So I've got a paragraph here. It's just from a random article on Wikipedia. I don't really know who Ludger Dion is. Um, well, I guess I do now. Businessman and politician. Great. Um, now, I might say uh, I only, I'm, I'm going to make a list of only the letters from this. And I'm going to say uh, for letter in paragraph, if the letter is in the alpha nums, alpha nums, then I'm going to append it only letters dot append and we'll just append the letter and if I print only the letters uh, I'm going to get I'm going to get something <laughs> let's just say that I want you to notice though I'm getting U D G E R I O N I'm skipping all the capital letters here so again this is a situation where I want to change this to dot lower, potentially, uh, for letter in paragraph dot lower. And this might, this might get us something closer. So notice, um, that's probably off the screen. Let me just go ahead and run that again. Uh, notice I am getting all the letters, but I'm losing the capitalization. Okay. So, um, I'm, I'm going to use join here, and I'm going to, we're going to get this into a workable form, a readable form shortly. So if I do this, I'm going to, you know, I get one big wall of uh, letters and numbers, but I'm on my way. So let's throw another condition in here. Uh, let's say if a letter is a space, then 
um, then we're going to append the letter. Uh, elif, the letter is in alpha nums, then we're going to append the letter, right? So uh, I could just do this with an or, right? I could say or and or the letter is in alpha nums. And that's going to get us something closer to what we might want. And it does. Ledger Dion, March 1st, 18, you know, we're, we're removing the non-alphanumeric characters. Let's say we want to preserve the, let's say we want to preserve the capitalization. So in that case, I might go here, remove dot lower from there, and put it, uh, put it here. So now the letter, when it comes in and it's compared here, it's going to be lower cased. But when we append it, we're going to be getting the original letter. And that will get us closer to the thing that we want, um, which is a complete removal of non-alphanumeric characters. Now, uh, I like this strategy on line one of having the whole alphabet and numeric characters there. Uh, I find that to be really explicit. There are other ways you can do this with Python. Um, you know, you can check is alpha, right? This is, there, there are functions that you can use to do this. But if you want to be really explicit, really granular in your approach, you can define the letters that you want to keep or the letters specifically that you want to remove. You're going to see this in text cleaning all the time. There are going to be special characters. There's going to be other things that you want to strip out of your text in order in, in your pre-processing of the text to feed it into a machine learning model or, um, you know, to create a uh, term frequency inverse document frequency matrix or a term frequency matrix for that matter. So this is, uh, you know, kind of the foundation for a whole lot of other skills. So please do your best to understand what's happening here um, in terms of checking membership across text.